Welcome to SUV City, the friendliest place to drive your SUV. Our exclusive SUV friendly community is custom designed for you, the proud owner of a big SUV. Here in SUV City, we understand that you have special needs. So for your convenience, we have gas stations every mile equipped with extra long hoses. And talk about worry-free driving, our double wide roads were constructed without any tight corners or low overpasses, so you won't have to slow down for anything. In SUV City, there are no traffic laws, just suggestions. If you need to get past that slow poke in front of you, hey, simply use the bike lane. Remember, your tax dollars paid for that bike lane. In fact, if you want to experience some real off-roading in your SUV, just drive down the center median or go nuts, drive over the curbs. And don't worry about those tiny parking spaces either. Go ahead. Compact means you. Use two or three. That's what they're there for. As a citizen of SUV City, you don't have to abide by any of those absurd environmental laws that say you can't drive your big SUVs just because it might make a teensy-weensy bit more pollution. Like we say in SUV City, keep your laws off my SUV. But don't take my word for it. Let's meet some of the satisfied citizens of SUV City and hear it for yourself. Aiden, honey, just sit quietly and watch your video, okay? Well, I just love SUV City because, as you can see, I'm a mother, and I like to know that my little darling is protected by three tons of American steel. Mommy's talking! <laughs> People ask me if I mind that my eliminator only gets 11 miles per gallon, and I tell them, but that's just for the poor people to worry about. My only worry is that my little Aiden gets to his inner child class safe and sound. Do you want me to get the nanny? Move it, you idiot! <laughs> what do I like about SUV City? SUV City kicks ass because I can cruise around like I'm going to go off-roading at any moment. Yeah, you too, asshole! My Intimidator is jacked up three feet full Baja tires, halogen lights, and a monster rhino guard. So when I hit some torque joggery, don't mess up my grill. <laughs> I never really been off-road, but sometimes I like going really fast over speed bumps or driving through puddles after it rains. One time, I did some kick-ass donuts in the parking lot. Man, I didn't watch my Intimidator for a month after that. <laughs> Really? And then what? No way! I think I just bumped another car. Oh well, <laughs> hold on. Why do I like SUV City? Because SUV City is fun. Everybody has like a way cool SUV and you drive around and talk and hook up and stuff. My dad bought me this Dominator XLT because I like to be really up high when I drive. I'm only 5'2", but when I'm behind the wheel of my SUV, I feel like I'm Shaq. Oh, hang on. So, what do you say then? Oh, girl, you are so Britney. Oh, crap. I just dropped my gloss. the hell do you want? Oh, what do I like about SUV City? Well, I can drive my SUV without getting hassled by those damn environmentalist liberal do-gooders. This is America, goddammit. No one's gonna tell me I can't drive an SUV just because it gets nine miles per gallon. Those liberals say that my SUV uses too much gas and adds to the so-called global warming. That's a bunch of crap. It's plenty cold here in the winter. And I've seen pictures of the Arctic, and it looks plenty cold up there, too. Well, the important thing is, is that if we should get into an accident, my little precious will be just fine because 
Our SUV is bigger than a tank. Do not get food on the leather. Who cares if the other car is toast, right? <laughs> it's their own fault for driving such a small car. <laughs> you know, I used to drive a smaller SUV. But then I thought, oh my god. What if someone should hit us in a bigger SUV than ours? At that very moment, I made a promise to my little darling that he would always be in the biggest SUV with leather that mommy can buy. Okay, that's it. No Frappuccino for you. You want a piece of me? Yeah, that's what I thought. The other thing I like to do is scare the crap out of old farts and small cars and those pussy cyclists riding on the side of the road. But my favorite thing is to drive up really close behind some jerk and turn on my high beams and watch him scurry out of the way. Hey, douchebag, you can't get in front of me and not pay. Sorry, I gotta go teach this punk a lesson. Okay, so the other thing I like about SUV City is that if I'm cruising in my Dominator XLT, everybody gets out of my way. Beep, beep. <laughs> it's really cool, you know? It's kind of hard to park sometimes, but I just take up two spaces and it's like no problemo. My boyfriend, Robert, he wanted me to take my SUV off-road one time. I said, um, Robert, no way. <laughs> You'd totally scratch the paint and my dad would be pissed. And besides, I don't even think it has one of those four-wheel drive thingies. So, I'm back. Like, do you think I should wear my platform stand or my strappy sandals? Because, you know, he's a hottie. And about all that running out of oil hogwash. There's plenty of oil in Alaska and California. We just need to get those damn environmentalists off our back so we can go get it out. Just because those liberal commies in Europe and Asia have to pay a lot for gas doesn't mean they can tell me that I have to drive one of their crappy tin cans. As an American, I'm proud that our military is fighting for our right to drive a big SUV. Like I say, they can take my SUV when they pry it from my cold dead fingers. Holy crap! Whoa! Oh crap! So there you have it, folks. SUV City is paradise for you and your big SUV. We have beautiful homes with extra large garages available now. So climb into your big SUV, top off the tanks, and head on down. And don't worry about financing your SUV dream of today. Just mortgage the future of your children. You deserve it. <laughs>